name is Anita Renahan White, and I came to the Public Health Informatics Institute in 2002. And my prior experience to coming to the Public Health Informatics Institute was within the corporate arena, working within IT and developing a software development life cycle methodology, as well as a project management methodology. And in coming to the Institute, I was really excited to apply some of the things that I had learned and had experienced within the corporate arena, within the public health atmosphere. It was an opportunity to take my passion for uh, the, the, the whole humanity, whole being, and apply it within uh, some of the constructs that I brought with me. And early on, Dave Ross and I met with a group of public health laboratory directors. And our premise was that if we worked together to develop requirements for their laboratory information management systems, that they would help each other. They would actually develop a stronger set of requirements in the end. And in doing so, we had a few skeptics at the beginning of the meeting. But I remember by the end of the meeting, one of the public health lab directors looked at us and he said, you know, by doing this together, all boats rise. And it is true what we found within this experience of working with the public health lab community and developing a set of shared requirements was that indeed all boats did rise. We were able to work at the county level, at the state level, and in a way that helped develop information system requirements that they could then use to purchase an information system or to build their own. And in doing so, we really started this methodology that we now call the Collaborative Requirements Development Methodology that's been uh, tested and, and proven to, to be effective and, and efficient within the global atmosphere, the global sphere as well as uh, local. And so it's been a very exciting um, opportunity to be a part of within the Public Health Informatics Institute. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ellen Weil. I came to the task force and the All Kids Camp program in 1997, started off as a project officer and ended up as the deputy director for the Public Health Informatics Institute. So my story is going to be about when Dave first came to the organization, to the All Kids Count group. When he came, he gathered us all together and said, hey, do you want to be a one grant wonder? And we said, no, we don't want to be a one grant wonder. And what he meant there is that we had one grant from Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, and that was going to be our last grant. And so um, a little bit later, uh, Dave Ross, Terry Hastings, and myself uh, went up to Chris Sarlis's house because she was on maternity leave, and we sat around her kitchen table and we came up with the concept of a group, a, a program that would go into the future and meet, uh, look at all the needs of public health informatics. And um, that's how we came up with the concept for the Center for Innovation. Fast forward a few years and we get a grant from Robert Wood Johnson Foundation called the Public Health Informatics Institute. And it was a pretty sizable grant. And so we asked ourselves, actually it was Terry Hastings who said, um, is a center under an institute or an institute under a center? I think we have a branding problem here and what do we do? And we decided that we would drop the name Center for Innovation in Health Information Systems and go with the Public Health Informatics Institute. So that is the founding of the organization. Of course, the foundation was All Kids Count, but Dave, Terry, Chris, and I are the founding members of the Center for Innovation, which turned into the Public Health Informatics Institute. Hi, I'm Chris Sarlis. Um, I first joined the task force back in 1994 as the deputy director for a relatively new program called All Kids Count, which was funded by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. All Kids Count came into being because it was trying to solve a real challenge that was happening in the early 90s 
Um, we had had a lot of outbreaks of measles in the early 90s, and so childhood immunization rates here in the U.S. were plummeting and kids were getting sick. And so the task force, which had historically worked to raise immunization rates globally, was asked to take on this new, very innovative program for, to address the problems in the U.S. And so it was an opportunity to think about how can technology help solve this problem? Can we develop an information system that identifies children who are at risk, um, documents which vaccines they have? Again, back then everything was very paper-based and then actually has a way to identify which children are at risk and how can we find in our communities how to bring them back into care. So this was a very novel idea back then to actually have an information system that could identify all those children and that could work both within the public health sector as well as where kids were getting their shots, which was primarily in the private sector. And so when we started it with All Kids Count, there was no definition of what is an immunization, what we call immunization registries back then. Um, there was no definition. We came together to identify what is a registry. We identified what were the standards, the sort of core features, as well as what does success look like? What are those performance measures? And to do that, we did it in an extremely collaborative way. And that idea was to bring together both the technical staff, sort of our informaticians, um, IT staff, to work very closely with the program staff to say what has to happen. We brought in the private sector, we brought in families, and so All Kids Count was a real collaborative effort to think about what's needed, how to solve this problem, and how can technology be a forum, a format, to sort of work together to solve, uh, to improve those immunization rates. It was challenging, but at the end, um, after we had All Kids Count 1, we had All Kids Count 2, over that time, we were really able to demonstrate what does a fully functional information system look like and to see how it can help improve um, improve rates. We had to solve problems of data, security, privacy, confidentiality, all of those things were very new back in the 90s. And so All Kids Count played a very important role in identifying those standards and to ensure records were, were protected. Um, we had to advocate for funding because again, this was a problem that wasn't funded, but was one that really brought together different partners to put money in that these information systems would be a collaborative effort again, both with public health and the private sector to fund. So all this work was um, the early days of All Kids Count, and as we worked um, from All Kids Count 1 to 2 to 3, that work over that really uh, 12 years of, um, of work with All Kids Count really was the foundation now for what we're pleased to say now 30 years of the Public Health Informatics Institute.